it has, has been, been confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> Dogs for sure know when you're pregnant. And we know that because we are going through it right now. <laughs> you have something to say? <laughs> and our dog is acting a damn fool. <laughs> you cannot start off like <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, go ahead. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. Woo. We recently recorded a video, Does Our Dog Know We're Pregnant? So if you haven't seen it, go watch that after this one. Yes. And in that video, we talked about whether we thought we we knew if she could tell or not that we were pregnant. And our inkling was that, yes, she right. for sure can. But I later did some research and learned that dogs actually can sense when you're pregnant and they learn a little bit before you do now of course like they can't know exactly when you're pregnant no one knows the exact timeline or anything like that but dogs have these this innate sense where they can sense that you're pregnant mm. and so according to the akc american kennel club and other articles that i read the reason how they can um sense that you're pregnant is that it's actually so cool Obviously, we know that dogs have a greater sense of smell than we do. Right. And they can smell the changes um, in your scent due to hormones. So obviously, when you're pregnant, we go through hormonal changes. And so she can sense the change in my natural scent. Interesting. So when she was acting weird the, the within the... Um, when I was two months pregnant. Right. And then even before that, when I didn't know that I was pregnant, and we were like, wow, journey's changing a little bit, but we can't really put our finger on it. She obviously knew that I was pregnant before I did. And that as we progressed in pregnancy, she obviously changed. It right. was behavioral and it was also just some of her um, patterns here around the house as well. Yeah. You're really excited, huh? <laughs> that is so interesting and i'm glad that there has been confirmation yes and there has been studies on this because i thought i was tripping and we thought we, <laughs> we were, thought we were tripping we thought we were tripping because we were like why is she acting different mm -hmm. but it, this was before we knew yeah. and like we said in the previous video we did about this we like before we even knew our dog knew that we were that she was pregnant and she was ripping stuff up in the house. Yeah. She was getting into things and chewing things that she'd never chewed before. And we had the mm -hmm. dog, we had our dog, a uh, rescue dog for at least a year, a Over year and a, a year half. At that point, yeah. And so we, we started to understand her tendencies and yeah. her character and everything like that. So for her to start acting out in different ways after that, it was like, okay, what the heck is going on? Right. And then that's when we recently found out right. that we were pregnant. Yeah. And, and then the, the level of attachment, she's always been a very attached dog. Yeah. But look at her. She's she, attached she, right she, now. But she's all, she's like super clingy to me, even more so um, that I'm pregnant. And they, when I read these different articles, cause I wanted to understand too, like, does dogs actually know i know we spoke about it but <laughs> but do they actually know and according to the research there are changes in their behavior where they're they can either be super clingy or it's actually the opposite they can uh become unattached and they don't mm. want to be around you they're a little bit nervous because oh. of the baby wow. and so you know every dog is different and every it just, dog has their day every dog has their day <laughs> Every dog is different, so it just depends. But with Journey, for sure, she's been super attached. Yeah. She's also been in protective mode. And a new thing that she's been doing, and I I kind of prided myself on this because I wanted to make sure when we got Journey that she was potty trained ASAP. And we were able to potty train her within uh, like two days. And she has been marking in the house. And at first... I didn't know where it was coming from. I just thought that maybe she smelled another dog that we had dog set for a while. And um, that's why she was marking. But she was doing it. like it, I just didn't understand. I thought like, oh, are we giving her too much water? Do we need to take her to the vet? And we tried different tactics to see if it would stop her from, you know, urinating in the house. And she's done it like a couple times now. Yeah, she she's did done it, it a she couple did, times. She did it three days, three nights in a row. Yeah. And that's when we were like, all right, 
we gonna have to f- figure something out. Do some out. research and get to, to the bottom of what's going on. This is not like her, but yeah. then once it was happening, it was like, all right, we gonna have to figure this one out. Yeah, and and the also, thing is, she knows too because yeah. when we when also, we see it, yeah. One thing we won't skate past is that we usually have her sleep in the in the uh, living room because in her in her uh, doggy bed in her doggy in her bed dog crate. Because she snores and mm-hmm. she snores loud and it can be kind of distracting and wake you up. So yes. she sleeps outside. I went to Puerto Rico for a week for work. And uh, my wife here, she decides uh, <laughs> she wants to, you know what? She could sleep in the room this week. <laughs> Maybe she might sleep in the bed. She probably. She did not sleep in the bed. She <laughs> slept on her bed on okay. the floor. Okay. All right. We won't go that far, but she let her sleep in the room. And she doesn't sleep in the room anytime when I'm home. So Well, sometimes think, she gets a little lucky. Well, but sometimes she gets lucky if yeah. we fall asleep and we forget that she's under the bed. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> usually she sleeps out in the living room. Mm-hmm. I went to uh, work in Puerto Rico for the entire week, Monday through Friday. And Monday through Friday, Journey was sleeping in the room. <laughs> so when I return home... Okay, it's back to regular routine. And actually, I didn't know that she was sleeping in the room. No, she actually, I told you, and then she slept in the room with us when you returned from the trip because we had oh, went to dinner. that one night. Yeah, that one did, night. She did, and then, But yep. then, once I returned the next night, um, it was back to the regular schedule. She's sleeping back in the living room. And Journey did not like that one bit. Yeah. And that's when she started acting out. I was like, okay, see, this is why you have to stick to a routine. And I will agree that part of that was my fault. Like, obviously, I don't want to give her mixed signals. And I gave her her mixed signals um, with letting her sleep in the room. And I do think that maybe part of her is being a little spiteful. But at the same time, like, Journey, prior to that, never used the bathroom in the house. So she knows better. Like, she used the bathroom in the house one day, one time, and that was the first day we yeah. brought her uh, her home. Yeah. Outside of that, she had never used the bathroom. So to me, it's it was a, it was still that. it was seems like it was more than just that because it was shocking. And I'm like, why is she doing this? So mm-hmm. I will say yes, I take part of the blame because I'm like, up, oh, dad's gone. Let's have some fun. And she's like, okay, let's bend the rules. But she bent it a little too far, and now she's using the bathroom in the house. Yeah. But so, but but. Anyways, I think that it's beyond just the that week and just I think her, it's her marking it, her territory. She, I think it really is due to the pregnancy because it's not just a cuz poodles are one of the smartest smartest breeds too and she's a mini poodle and mm-hmm. she knows right from wrong. She definitely she's knows very, right from wrong. She's very a very smart dog. Um so she knows that she shouldn't be doing that and she knows she knows better. And she knows in the moment, too, like after she's done it, she will go straight to her bed or she'll keep her distance or things like that after Mm -hmm. she realized that we have discovered that she peed. But I think that now that we understand that this is something that has been confirmed, it was very interesting hearing and reading some of um, other people's stories online about their experience with their dog, knowing that they're pregnant. But I think now it's up to us to find ways to kind of combat that and also prepare journey so that when we bring Jordan home, I want them to have a good relationship. I don't want journey to feel like she's left out because she's our first baby. Mm -hmm. And I want Jordan obviously to be safe around her. I don't want it to be where journey is aggressive toward journey where journey is aggressive toward Jordan, but you do have to prepare because sometimes you don't know. So it was very cool to, read some things online as to what we can do to help prepare. And obviously they say like get a blanket um, or something that will have your baby scent on it Mm. and to put it in either the dog's bed um, or put it somewhere that they frequent a lot so that they get used to the baby scent because obviously dogs are big on scent. So once they know that, Hey, this is the baby scent, they're going to want to protect, protect that. And then also having like, time where journey is close to my belly so that she knows like hey okay there's a baby in here we need to protect we need Ah, to protect number two you got all the tips so i mean i did research because after the marking in the house i'm like what is going on like this is not like journey at all and her like being a little destructive in the house and like tearing up stuff it just wasn't like her wasn't like her at all so we wanted to do another second video about Mm -hmm. this because we have seen continuous activities that are strange 
we'll say, um, from our dog. Mm-hmm. And that's due probably, most likely, from pregnancy. So we wanted to drop a part two, a continued conversation to the first video that we dropped. So again, make sure you watch that because it has been confirmed. Dogs definitely can sense when your partner is pregnant. And if you have any stories that you want to share, drop a comment below. If you are interested in um, one of the articles that I read, drop a comment below. We can just post the link. Super easy. You yeah. And lastly, Journey, is there anything that you want to say? How do you feel? You know I'm pregnant, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she knows. She knows for she sure. Knows. All right, we're going to sign off for today, guys. I'm Jen. I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. Bye. Bye.